Carling. Comes off the stick of Yellowhorn, bounces for Quince, swinging a miss on the bobbling puck from Marley Quince, but Coventry get possession back in neutral ice. Chipped in by Kukali. Quince spins off his man and drops it in behind the goal line. Hard pass finds Johnston. To the back door with a tip, they score! Oh, wonderful vision from Johnston! Picks out the stick of Yellowhorn and the Blaze are on the board and hey, he really is the one to watch with passes like that, Stu. That is a beautiful hockey play there, right from the set up there. Johnston puts it on an absolute plate for Yellowhorn, who doesn't have to do anything other than just poke it towards the net. But the vision here on the cycle, then the quick pass across ice all the way to Johnston, then the slap pass, then the tip. All of the players in the Blaze contributing to a real good team goal. Tolberg's going to come across the line. Oh, he chips one in front of Curran, who had his feet taken out from under him. Oh, and there's going to be some pushing and shoving with Tolberg and Carter. And we'll look at that sequence again, Stu. Not entirely sure what the, uh, the issue there is. Tolberg has got away. He shoots in. There's a bit of a... Uh a bit of a melee, and then all Talbot's just coming and standing over the netminder, and the Storm feel the need to push on him. Face up to the right of Broder. Last time he uh, played against the Blaze, he, he did get yanked from the game. James Downey finished the uh, the night off. One time from Vaselli. Oh, it's in the back of the net. A heavy redirection on the way through, I think, of Talberg. And the Blaze get a power play goal. And, well, let's have a look at this one again, Stu. It took a heavy redirect. Yeah, Radic Vesely gets a big shot from the right-hand side. It definitely gets a direction. I think it's off Talberg, the jumping player right in front of Brodeur, giving a great screen. So we just watch Talberg again as he kind of just peels off, disappears off our screen for a moment. And then he's right there. If it's not Talberg, it's got to be the defenseman, but I'm pretty sure it's Talbot's knee that gets it. Some space on this right wing side, which Quince is going to occupy. On the back end, Marley Quince. One time from Yellow Horde, you saw him wind up slowly. That's like a over 65s only driver, the pullback, but. Monty came off uh, the man in front of him. Come to come back across the line. Quince, oh, off a body! Oh, off the pads of Brodeur! And talk about redirections. That's really been the story of not only the two blaze goals, but uh, another big chance there. It's Quince. Under some pressure, does a nice job, Quince, of stopping, starting! Good save, Brodeur, the empty net! Oh, Venus off the pad of Johnson in front of the net. The Blaze are hankering for a third. Lashinsky's gonna dump that in. Oh my goodness, that was uh, the epitome of putting your body on the line to keep your team in a game. Lashinsky, he hacks one, rebound! Oh, what a save from Brodeur! He only had the glove in the way for the whole net, and Talberg couldn't beat it. This is a wonderful stop. Uh, Coventry Blaze, you know, shark smelling blood in the water right now, all buzzing around the net. That uh, could have gone absolutely anywhere from Kim Talberg, but it manages to find the one spot that Brodeur was diving towards just a desperation save. Yeah. sent down this near side boards and won't be icing as Hulsa comes out to play it. Cook chips it off the boards. Nice play from Cook. Now here's Forbes into space. Chips it for Franzi. Back for Forbes. Oh, on the backhand. He scooped it. Oh, and I loved oh. where Forbes' head was at. And again, the Blaze zeroing in on goal number three on the night. Watch this one. Forbes on the backhand. He flicks his wrists at it, but he just gets too much air under it. Inside the last minute of this first period, Blaze leading this game. Two to nothing. Oh, there's a mammoth hit from Simmons on Yellowhorn. And uh, oh, the pane of glass has come out. I missed that. And that was a massive hit from Simmons on Yellowhorn. I don't know whether we'll catch it. I think we'll be just away from it. But as you can see, 
There's uh, one of the stewards. Yeah, one of the stewards there very quickly and uh, ver ver signalling the uh, the issue to the, ofi the, the officials there who've uh, quickly stopped the play. But I think we could be on for an extended break here. <laughs> Bricknell, little layoff on the boards. I don't think he realised how much time he had, Jake Bricknell, and he's going to get poke checked by Yellow One. He walks in, Yellow One on the back end, he scores! A wonderful goal from Yellowhorn. A crafty, sultry backhand. And we'll look at this one again. And a little mishandling of big Pocek from Colton Yellowhorn. And that is a lovely little slip through the five hole. All right. Fantastic piece of work from the veteran there. Just very neatly picking the puck off, coming round, getting it round, and then just dragging it across and slipping it five hole. Brilliant finish. Alex Forbes close to getting his first of the regular season earlier in that first period. As Cook's going to send that in front. It's jammed away up by Franti. His stick breaks on the play. And now here come the Storm up ice. Chance for DeLuca. Oh, what a save by Pavo Hulsa. Let's have a look at this one again. The left pad stays tight to the ice from Parvo. End-to-end -end stuff here at the Sky Dome, Stu. Yeah, stick breaks at one end and then straight down the other. Anthony DeLuca with speed behind the blaze defence. He's got round both Kakali and Norris. Holsa keeps himself very low to the ground, <coughs> makes a solid save, and uh, the blaze will be thankful for that one. Keeps it at 3-0. Stephen Johnson had a good year last year at Wichita. 10 goals, 19 assists. St. Mary's College in U Sports, another alumni of U Sports, as Quince is going to try and get around his man. Oh, nice hands from Marley Quince. Holds on to the puck, manages to sneak it around the boards as Herman couldn't reach it. Clever play from Quince. And what can Coventry do with it? Although, good play from Fawcett keeps him against the boards. His yellow horn for the hat trick. Good glove save by Brodeur, and he hangs on. <laughs> Got on yellow horn stick is displaced from between his hands. As that's probably a good tactic uh, on a hat trick tonight. Can't yellow horn get his stick away from him. <laughs> Pavo Hulsa has his stick slashed out of his hands. Furious Pavo Hulsa, gifted back to him by Lashinsky. That was a big old rap from the Manchester Storm forward there. That puck ends up in neutralised, Earhart. Vaselli, oh, it was a, a little bit of an incidental collision with David Clements and uh, that Cam Critchlow. Either way, Manchester are coming up, uh, Coventry coming up ice. Talberg takes it from forehand, backhand, forehand again. The puck sat there. A Brodeur makes a snappy glove save of Curran. What a strange passage of play that was. Very odd indeed. Holzer ends up with no stick. The blaze come down the other end. Um, Tauber gets the puck here. He takes that first shot off. And then it's really bobbling around. Curran's looked at it. But Broder's done an excellent job of tracking where that puck is. And he constantly knows that he's there and gets the glove up straight away. Puck ends up in behind the goal line. Oh, shove comes in in the corner from Quince. Had to take that big hit from Simmons. Oh, there's a big hit in the corner. And that's going to draw the ire of a little bit of everybody. The referee's got his arm in the air. And is that going to be a fight? As Earhart's having a, a real go with somebody. And that's Norrish. Earhart's spoiling for a fight. And well, frankly, I don't know why Norrish is uh, not giving it him. He might as well. It's a bad hit in the corner. It's a, bad, it's a bad hit in the corner, and the referee's got his arm up straight away. You know, the Blazer, the Blazer doing the right thing in, in trying not to take a penalty. It looks as if uh, Quince and Erhart are both going to end up in the box, but you would presume still that the Blaze will end up on the power play for the yeah. original hit from Simmons. That's Talberg. Halbert, big slap shot. Oh, upstairs, my goodness. Well, that's twice we've seen that tonight. That one rims off the visor of Talberg. Harrison caught one off the side of the helmet in, earlier in this period. Oh, I'm, I'm glad that Kimmy's got the visor on, because, gosh!
Tolberg drives their heart out of the uh, offensive zone. That pass, oh, it ends up getting flicked up by Fawcett. Vaselli somehow walks through that high stick. Curran finds the man in the slides, and back and they score! Clements! It's a scoopy little chippy one on the back end, but it is the Blaze fourth of the night. And this is a wonderful bit of transition from Coventry, and they've sewn it up nicely with Clements putting the bow on top. Another really good team goal here, working on the transition, which has been absolutely impeccable all season. Vesely comes in, drops it to Curran again. Curran spots Clemens. This time he comes in and then just flicks it with the backhand. Those shots can go absolutely anywhere, but that time it found the back of the net. They have that at the perimeter. Little cycle here from Coventry, right at the edge of the reach. Erratic Vaselli somehow keeps that one in. He's going to come round the boards. Kukali puts his backside in the way, but Manchester are going to squeak around him. It's chipped in by Johnson. He ends up riding the back of Johnny Curran. They're all tangled up. There is going to be a penalty. And. Uh, yeah, Johnson's going to head to the box. Yeah, Johnson's going to have it. We're going to get another look here, but what you can't do is you can't grab hold of someone by the neck and skate about a third of the length. Yeah, and Johnson's uh, He's enraged. Enraged and uh, presumably has said something or done something and uh, has ended up himself out of the game. Curran pokes along to Halbert. Vaselli to the goal line. He gets that puck from Talberg. Kim Talberg again, him and Vaselli. They play even strength on the line together. They're just figuring out what they want to do here. That one's poked out of the air by Earhart. Nice work from the former Storm captain. Ejects that puck out of the zone. <coughs> Franti. Cross the line with some speed. Franti, oh, short side, they score! Oh, the vision of Franti and the finish of Tolberg. And the Blaze do have their second of the night. And that little short side shimmy really works well in the modern games, too. As we'll watch this again. And oh, the vision of Peyton Franti to squeeze that out. Yeah, everyone from the Manchester Storm is expecting Peyton Franti to carry that puck around and try and get set up in the zone. But he's looked over his shoulder. He spotted that Tolberg's there with nobody on him. And he realizes that if he can just get the puck to Talberg, he'll find it into the back of the net, which is exactly what happens. Yeah, unlucky for some, but that's Kim Talberg's 13th goal of the season. Unless they've changed uh, the one earlier off for Selly, which kind of came off the leg pad, we think of Kim Talberg. We might be wrong. We'll just double check that for accuracy's sakes. Accuracy's sakes. Too many S's in that sentence. Big check on the backboard. All oh, the loose pucks come out in front, and they do score again. Mitch Cook, a broken play, but the Blazers are able to just walk out diagonally in front of Broder. Yeah, the Blaze absolutely all over the Manchester Storm right now. We see there, Franti chips the puck in, sends it for Mitch Cook to chase. Puck comes out, there's a little bit of a loose one, and then Mitch Cook being the first to those second pucks, really crucial. And Cook puts it in short side for the sixth. Yeah. Broder, Cook in on the four check. Carter will try and scoop that one around Marley Quinn. It's a nice job from Cole Carter actually to start the storm on a, a route out of the zone. Dumped it hard off the boards. Oh, Orval's going to pick that up. Splits the D and set it down for Simmons. There's a chance. Oh, Pavo Hulsa had no right making that save. Oh my goodness, he was looking the wrong way. And then twigged where the puck was. Threw out the catcher. And it's still a 6-0 game. This is a mammoth save. Here's Critchlow. Oh, out in front, big chance. A little poke at it from Ripley. And Vaselli. And Curran. And Vaselli again. Curran. The Blazers have got into the zone. Off the skate of Vaselli. He does score. Sheer will from the Blaze to get that out of the zone. It was a nice little transitional play. 
ping-ponged between Vasselli and Curran, and it bounced out of the skates of Hazeldine, and well, Vasselli's able to roof it, and the Blaze well at the races now. Critchlow in neutral ice, poked, poked away by Tolberg. I have to start thinking about man of the match at some point. It was Curran out in front for Talberg. Oh, and he's mobbed to the ice. The puck ends up with Norwich. Oh, he breaks his stick on the one-timer. Curran wants it. Curran gets it. Coventry six on five now. Well, they nearly had eight, frankly. As the Storm will touch it up, DeLuca <laughs> impetuously throws that the length as Halbert greets him with a, really? Yeah, what was the point there <laughs> is all, the question there. And they all have a go at each other. Here's Forbes. Sends it around the back of the net. It's still going here, Alex Forbes. I'll have to start thinking about man of the match at some point, Stu. Get your uh, tweets in at Blaze TV Live. Here's Norris as the Blazer back to full strength. 52 seconds of power play awaits them. Brady Norris scores, he won't need them. It is eight on the night for Coventry. And the sheer will and determination of Brady Norris, he gets this off the wall, takes it down the slot, and Coventry have put a thorough drubbing on the hands of the Storm tonight. Yeah, Brady Norris there showing exceptional will, but also stick handling. Picks that puck up, gets it around, and then just go, drives towards the net here, keeps himself upright, and then just slots it five hole. Lovely shot, 8-0 to, to Coventry. The, uh, the refs used to have a habit of I'm going to break the fourth wall again. We've got a volunteers room, right, where we can grab teas, coffees, biscuits, and whatever. Some of the referees were well known for frequenting to uh, grab a hot drink and a bicky. As Forbes is going to, uh, excuse me, Curran's going to head up ice. He's got Yellowhorn on a hat trick heading to the net. Curran to Yellowhorn, he scores. He completes the hat trick. He gets the Blazers ninth. And there are some hats making their way down to the ice. Just an odd man rush and Coventry really putting the knife in. Uh, Johnny Curran was uh, skating down with the puck there. We see him picking it up. He looks over, he realizes it's Colton Yellowhorn with him. He has no intention of shooting at that point. He is passing it every day of the week in that situation. And it's paid off there because Yellowhorn has got his hat trick. Look at the half wall. Curran will have to take that out and neutralize. And gentleman John will get that puck into the zone. I thought he was just going to kill some time, but the Coventry Blaze were thinking about getting a tenth. Here comes Tyson Fawcett. A buzzer beater. It's a stick save from Holzer. He does register his third shutout of the season. And again, it's a decision of Coventry Blaze put on a clinic. It's Blaze 9, Storm nothing. 